Now, it can be useful to use for loops to be able to move around and get a certain number of things done. So for in this example, let's assume that we have a series of first names and a series of middle names. And what we want to do is we want to create all combination of first and middle names as I've done here. Well, to be able to do that, so if we erase this now, uh, to be able to do that, what we would need to be able to do is we really need to be able to move down to a certain spot. So for example, we need to be able to move down to the third row. And when we're at the third row, then we need to go over here and we need to move over here and we can take Bobby plus Joe. And then we need to be able to take Bobby and we need to be able to add Boo as the name. And then we need to go from Bobby and add Sue. Then we need to jump to this next name and so forth. So how can we do that? Well, I've created a small example script here where I've created some variables where we have a first name. I've created one called first name row as an integer. I've got MN for middle name row as an integer, integer. And I've got O row as an integer for the output row. So I've designed this so that the first name row will be set to get this first name. The middle name row will be designed to come over here and get this name. And then the output row's job will be able will be to go over here and start writing down these combinations of first and middle names and do that. Now, the output row is going to start on row 2, so we want to do that. So I've created an output row equals 2 as the starter place for my output row. So how do I get it? How do I get Excel in VBA to come over and pick off these things from the right place? Well, a great way to do that it would be to take something like first name row and say equals 3 to 6. I can see in this simple example that it goes from th 3 to 6. So I'm setting this up so that it will start here and go down to 6. And then I've got my immediate windows out here so you can see it. And I'm going to print the value of first name row here and or print the value of FN row so you can see what's going on. And so if I comment out the rest of this so we can just focus on that outer loop for a second. So if I step into this now, then what will happen is uh, I should be printing out 3 through 6, which is what, and then the, the loop terminates. Now, while we're inside the loop, we can do also come over and we can use these numbers. Now, these numbers go from 3 to 5. So if we say for the, the middle name row, uh, if we set that so that it actually goes from 3 to 5, then we should be able to move through 3 to 5. And I've got a little debug print here set up so that it will show you the middle name row. And then I've also put an output row in here so it can count as the output row value changes. So we initialized output row to 2, and then we'll as we go down through the inner loop, we'll keep track of the output row. And so in this case, I'll start this over again. Call this, and this, well, this is called double loop. So as the, we run this now, what happens is you can see here that the output row or the outside row is actually operating. And then within that row, what we're doing is we're going down and we start that inner loop again get it from 3 to 5. And then we're incrementing this. We set O row to 2. And as this goes through, you can see the value of O row is increasing. Well, now we really have done sort of the, the all of the thought process that needs to happen to be able to uh, get an outer loop working as many times as we want it. We've also put this where it's in corresponding to the rows where we want things. We've got an inner loop working as many times as we want it. And these numbers, this number here, also corresponds to the value of these rows. And then we've got the output rows corresponding to the output row. So once this is done, then we can go ahead and we can replace these values with the, the value of these cells that are in here.